Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies, gents, whatever you are, Piot here. It's my pleasure to be with you. It's the 1st of March 2020, meaning new month, new challenges. But we have to remember that's the last month of the first quarter of 2020 and we do know what is going on, how the last week looks like. What we are going to talk about today, right here, right now, we are going to make small, short, sweet crypto market update, especially when it comes to Bitcoin. If you have some time, we are going to look for Ether as well. Anyway, that's the monthly chart uh, of the Bitcoin, all right? And the second candle over here, right? Third actually right now looks very good. That's the January candle, right? Meaning that this, I'm not sure if you've seen it, but meaning that, that this uh, dotted red line is a yearly open. And in my opinion, as long as we are above, uh, when it comes to the monthly close, well, I would say uh, as a bulls, we should be quite safe. And yes, I am still uh, within the bullish camp when it comes to the, uh, to the Bitcoin. Uh, what I don't like, of course, uh, it's some kind of the rejection uh, we've seen in February, but that shouldn't be surprise because what we've seen here, it was the rejection of the November high. Uh, sorry, uh, no, October high. I'm sorry, it was uh, the, the October high being rejected. So that's the, uh, when it comes to the monthly chart, that's the first line uh, of the supply. So we were discussing these levels in between 2,200, 2,500. So this 500, dollars above 10k uh that's the key right now and if we are going to manage to go above and close above that level uh well then we should see levels close to 13,700 14,000 so we should retest uh we should retest 2019 high i mean we should we we can we could, based on the chart, it's possible. Maybe that way it's gonna be easy to evade the situation that someone uh, then will get back to me and tell me, hey, we should, but we didn't. Anyway, there is a good chance that if we are going to cross 10,500 uh, 10, and close on the monthly chart above, that might open uh, the doors um, towards the higher levels. And we should be safe, or we got the chance to be safe as long as we are above when it comes to the monthly close as we are above this uh, swing low uh, but the retest of some certain level retest of this uh, 7000 or levels shy below 7000 cannot be ruled cannot be ruled out uh, what's the first challenge when it comes What's the first challenge when it comes to the monthly chart and the early uh, days of March when it comes to trading? Of course, right here, right now, the bulls, because there is a possibility what the bears may see here. There is a possibility of the uh, creation of the swing high, right? So what I do expect is some kind of the possible supply around January high, right? I do expect January high with also works with the November high this time, right? So I would be very careful because that's where the bears may try to take the advantage of what is going on here. Uh, well, we have yearly open as a strong support, all right? But we also have December open right as a strong possible possible demand zone so in that case uh, i would say 7600 if we are going to see retest of that level so based on that particular chart uh, the december high and the yearly open uh, there is a good chance that we are going to find some bu deep buyers over there all right so that's how i see the things from the medium or even long-term perspective when it comes to the monthly chart let's have a look what we have a little bit lower uh let's switch uh to the weekly chart and yeah because of those all of these uh, 
stuff related to the coronavirus uh, fear, right? We've seen sell-off almost everywhere, right? Only the bonds uh, was, well, like quite some safe haven. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to stay. Uh, because if we are going to see the disruption within the uh, within the uh, chain, uh, I would say we might see we might see higher inflation, and then uh, we might see some kind of the uh, bond sell off. But that's uh, for a completely different meeting. Anyway, from the weekly chart perspective, the good thing is that we are fighting here, right? We are fighting at the possible demand base on the. Uh, Riley based Riley, right? Of course, the first initial Riley here, the one before the pullback, we didn't hurt the bears much, right? So, well, it's it might be it might be challenge, and I'm not gonna be surprised if we are going to see, for example, a retest of eight thousand, all right? But for now, from the weekly chart perspective. That's the base, and that's where we are trying to, based on what we are trying to create, a little bit lower, a little bit lower shadow. And uh, at the very moment, I'm preparing the comments update here. We have attempt to rally uh, from the intraday perspective. Uh, I'm going to show you within the within the few seconds. So looking looking for short and deep buyers around these levels, but we have to take out. We have to take out and close based on the weekly chart above this level, right? So simply we have to get back based on my chart above 9,200. So 9,200, 9,300, that might be key level when it comes, uh, when it comes to, uh, to the buyers and the weekly chart, all right? I don't like, I don't like, uh, uh, upper shadow I've seen a week ago and two weeks ago, especially that the week ago was lower than them two weeks ago. So that's the short term high here. And you guess it's 10,500 we discussed based on the monthly chart. All right. Um, anyway, it's going to be very interesting to see uh, how the situation here will develop uh, when it comes to the weekly chart. Uh, quickly, let's switch to the daily chart and here on the other hand based on based on this uh, possible demand from the weekly chart all right it's also visible here all right we have some brave deep buyers right when it comes to the when it comes to the bitcoin so we are trying we are trying to hold uh, this level now huge challenge short term that's gonna be uh, that's the huge challenge. So levels around 9,200 and then 9,500, right? So that's the first uh, first uh, challenge. If we are going to if we are going to give up the dip we've seen on Friday, uh, if we are going to give up these lows, we might see a retest of 8,000 and then 7,600 and then. Uh, all about this yearly open we discussed from a higher time frame. So briefly, let's have a look what we have on ether because here we are uh, seeing attempt to bounce as well. And 220, 200, 220, 200, that's what we discussed that uh, has to hold, right? Uh, from the monthly chart perspective, I don't like this upper shadow, right? Uh, it's ugly. This upper shadow is ugly, all right? But 200 we discussed, uh, if it holds, then retest of the 2019 high based on the monthly chart, still possible, right? So what, what we don't wanna see, we don't wanna see the monthly close, weekly close below 220, 200, all right? So let's switch uh, quickly. Let's switch lower to the daily chart on the ether, and very similar to what we have on the Bitcoin. We found some possible demand based on Riley 
base Riley, right? So market is trying to take the advantage. Market is trying to figure it out uh, really what is going on with the coronavirus, right? Uh, but that's something we are going to discuss um, during our FX meeting. Uh, so I'm going to leave it here as it is. So uh, Ether, I'm quite bullish as long as we are above 220 and 200 when it comes to the weekly uh, to the weekly close. All right. So, well, it looks like we have a little bit of the move uh, this afternoon in Europe. Uh, when it comes to the crypto, fingers crossed, uh, I'm going to make an update when necessary. Guys, have a great rest of the Sunday and see you around with another update. Take care and goodbye.